Hello, I'm Jim Carlucci, the community editor of the Trenton Town Tanner, and we're at McManaman's Pub in South Trenton speaking with John McManaman, a member of the Trenton Irish Heritage Association, about the St. Patrick's Parade. This is another in our continuing series of interviews with Trenton's business, civic, and cultural leaders that's co-produced by Community News Service LLC and Kevin Moriarty's Sky Dog Media. John, thanks for sitting down with me today uh, to talk about this. Uh, the Trenton Irish Heritage Association is a relatively new organization, but you have taken over uh, running a uh, quarter century old tradition in Trenton. You want to tell us a little bit about that? Well, yeah, we've, um, well, we stepped in after the uh, original parade group uh, decided that uh, they would be better off uh, holding the parade in, in Hamilton Square. Uh, we felt that uh, Trenton, as capital city, needed a parade, and uh, people of Trenton seemed to agree. Uh, we've had gotten a lot of support, uh, so we decided to try to keep the uh, parade on its traditional route down Hamilton Avenue, and this will be the 27th time uh, this parade's kicked off, uh, well, 27th consecutive time, if we don't we don't count the times prior to 1900 that was, <laughs> uh, the parade went off. But uh, we're looking forward to the 27th uh, Trenton St. Patrick's Day Parade uh, coming March 17th. So you were able to pick up uh, and continue the 25 year plus parade tradition and it wasn't a fluke. Um, there's going to be a parade again this year on March 17th. Does that date cause any problems for you in booking uh, participants in the parade? Well, for years we, we uh, felt that, that that would be a problem. Uh, we've always wanted to have it on the weekend. Um, and if, there was, if the 17th did fall on a weekend, we tried to avoid using it simply because we always thought that it would be difficult to get bands to march, etc. cetera. Um, but that really isn't that much of the case. Uh, although the only city we're really in conflict is with is maybe a couple in North Jersey and New York City. So the bands locally are not gonna, gonna be all together marching in the New York Parade. Uh, a lot of people might want to go to the New York, New York Parade. Uh, the only conflict we really have is a lot of the pipers and some of the bands do private parties. So we found that uh, we, we do still have uh, plenty of support. We have several bands listed already, um, actually more than last year, I believe. Okay. So, uh, you know, the, uh, well, the, actually, and so the only other uh, conflict we had was that some of our, our sponsors uh, when you have uh, a parade day that's other than the 17th of March, it's like two big days for, for those sponsors, uh, St. Patrick's Day and the parade day. And we thought, you know, maybe the sponsors wouldn't be happy uh, that we are kind of killing one day for them. But the fact of the matter is, when you schedule a parade on the 17th, I think that day will be such a big day, it'll make up for any losses that uh, we, they might incur because don't have that second day uh, as one of the sponsors I kind of agree. <laughs> <laughs> so the St. Patrick's Parade <clears throat> it's completely funded by your group correct? Yes. Now I'm one who's criticized the continuation of the city sponsored Thanksgiving Parade uh, as a waste of taxpayer dollars. What if anything does the city contribute to the cost of your parade? Well, the city, the city helps us out with barricades and uh, city and, and I believe some, uh, some county assistance uh, comes with crowd control, et cetera. Uh, but for the most part, the, uh, the parade brings in more people in one day to the city of Trenton, spending more money than any one day event uh, the other 364 days of the year. Uh, people come in, they, they spend money, it's, it's a win for the city. Plus you can't put a dollar value on the prestige that it brings the city uh, to have a parade. And the idea of the trend not having a parade uh, is another loss for the city. So we feel that uh, it's a win-win situation for the city. So how do you raise money to co cover the cost of the parade? And about how much does it cost to put on an event like that? Well, um, in the past, uh, with the, uh, the, year, the group that uh, ran the parade for the first 25 years, that was also a parade and scholarship committee. Um, it generally would take about between thirty and forty thousand dollars to fund a parade, um, to put parade on the streets of Trenton. Everybody who marches in the parade is paid. Um, if yeah, every all the bands, etc., 
uh, even the school bands incur costs, transportation costs, etc. So everybody gets paid and it does cost a bit of money. Uh, the scholarship fund also did another uh, ten or fifteen thousand dollars in scholarships uh, each year and they continue to do that. Um, we as a new group uh, we're not really at the scholarship uh, stage yet. Uh, we're working on it. Uh, but as far as raising money, um, well, well uh, the first thing coming up on the calendar, we have uh, a Mardi Gras party that will kick off on February 26th here. Last year that raised, I couldn't put an exact dollar figure on it, but I think it was a couple thousand dollars plus. Um, we. Uh, in September had a mu uh, an Irish music festival which went over really well. Um, that raised a good amount of money for, uh, for the parade and it, it will be bigger this, this coming year. Uh, as a new festival, uh, we were very surprised at how well it went over. It was, it was a big day. So, and we have an ad book that uh, contributes heavily to uh, sponsoring, you know, running the parade. Uh, those those things and a few others. Um, you know, we sell a few pins and hats, etc. But uh, that that basically uh, gets us over the over the top. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Last year, you were able to capitalize on the energy surrounding the uh, departure of the uh, previous parade committee uh, and keeping it here, and that, that got garnered you a lot of support. That's carrying through this year. You're still getting a lot of community support. Well, yeah, um, the thing is, I, I don't see it as um, a reaction to the other parade leaving. The fact of the matter is, um, one of the reasons that the other parade group uh, decided to move to Hamilton was they figured that they were getting most of the support uh, from the Hamilton area. But the reason for that was that as time went on, um, most of the members of that parade committee were from the Hamilton area. I think I might have been actually the last Trenton resident on that particular committee. That being the case, uh, these folks weren't as familiar with Trenton businesses as a homegrown Trenton group would be. Uh, what we found was uh, after the, the uh, original group had departed, um, we found that uh, a lot of Trenton businesses um, were more than willing to help, wanted to contribute, wanted to make sure a parade stayed on the streets of Trenton and stepped right up and uh, filled the gap. Um, so it, it, isn't, it wasn't a reaction to the other parade leaving, uh, not the, well, it's the same parade, but to the other parade organization leaving and starting a new parade in Hamilton. Um, and the fact of the matter is we've worked together to try to make uh, both parades good. Uh, I prefer to think of it as uh, more or less a growth in uh, interest in, uh, in Irish cultural events that allows us to have not just one but two parades in two locations and for each group to work together is, is a plus. I don't, I don't think we can characterize it as a schism of any sort. Uh, it's more or less uh, an expansion. Okay. Um, you guys, you know, you got off with a bang last year and I would say that you, um, you actually inspired the creation of last summer's African American Pride Festival, which is also going to—they've uh, already announced plans to to have another festival this year and expand their their event a little bit. Do you think there's hope for for uh, seeing more of that, representing the different uh, individual ethnic groups uh, and, and the culture of that of those groups in, in the city? Well, I, I hope so. I mean, uh, anything that brings people into the city uh, and at the same time gets gives people a learning experience about the, the various cultures that are here. It's got to be a good thing. Uh, you know, uh, I, went, I went to the uh, African American F uh, Festival in the summer. It was, it was a great time. I think the city needs to do more of that. Um, without, you know, the fact of the matter is, if you have an, or have an organization that's going to step up and provide the infrastructure to put on a festival, like the African American Festival or the, uh, the St. Patrick's Day Parade, we have to give them a lot of support in the city. The city shouldn't have to come in and do all of it on its own and shouldn't have to foot the bill for it. If the city can help us and support us in any way, that's great. And this is a, these are the kind of things that seem to be working and it's the kind of thing we need to have more of. That's, that's a great point. I, it's a point I made when I, we spoke with the uh, people from Art All Night last year. Uh, the same thing, you know, should the city be in the event planning and presentation business or should they 
step back and lend a hand, but not not. They be should the be in the event facilitation business. Yeah. Not. Don't want. We don't need to have any robots set up. Just if you let us go, give us a hand, maybe a little push. <laughs> we'll take care of it. Uh, is there anything you'd like to let our uh, viewers and our readers know uh, about the uh, the parade or the uh, the Irish Heritage Association? Uh, you know, well, we're uh, we're constantly looking for new members to help us uh, uh, work on the parade. We need marshals uh, all the time. The more, the merrier. Um, the parade will be on the seventeenth, uh, kicking off as usual from the steps of St. Anthony's, uh, marching down Hamilton Avenue and uh, just need everybody to pray for good weather. <laughs> well, thank you, John. We've been speaking with John McManaman of the Trenton Irish Heritage Association about the Trenton St. Patrick's Parade. This is part of our ongoing series of interviews with Trenton business, civic, and cultural leaders that's co-produced by Community News Service, LLC, and Kevin Moriarty's Sky Dog Media. I'm Jim Carlucci. Thank you for watching.